not funny. That's not... Greetings, fellow mortals. Just a reminder, saying it's just my opinion is for cowards. I hope the entire world disagrees with me so that I can claim to be the one person with my opinion and I know I'll be right about it. Oh, and minor spoilers for One Piece Ahead, by the way. Now, going back to experience everything about the start of One Piece has left me thinking a lot about Oda's style of combat choreography. There's always an element of goofiness to it. Just think about the fighting styles of the main characters. Luffy is a rubber man. Zoro holds a sword in his mouth. Nami uses the weather to fight. Usopp uses a slingshot. And Sanji only fights using kicks. Just think about all of that. And those are just the first five members of the crew. That isn't even taking into account the later members of the crew, where one of them is a talking reindeer. Or on the opposite end of the spectrum, the enemies. Even if a foe isn't goofy by design, like Buggy's Chop Chop powers, there's always something slightly goofy about them. Kuro has poop symbols on his coat. Don Craig is getting bullied by another pirate when we see him. And Arlong gets his teeth stolen. Okay, that last one was because of Luffy, but in the East Blue and beyond, there is always an element of comedy to the serious moments and the fights. While a lot of the situations are dark and serious, the people in this world are weird and lighthearted. Personally, I view it as Oda taking more inspiration from early Dragon Ball and trying to lighten the mood a bit. It's his way of saying, hey, everything's gonna be alright. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. Alright, you might be thinking, hey, love of storytelling. The best fights in One Piece are probably Luffy vs. Rob Lucci and Luffy vs. Katakuri, and they were super serious. There wasn't really a whole lot of comedy in those battles. And I agree, Oda is very capable of creating tense fights where there aren't many, if any, jokes getting thrown around. But he obviously doesn't like to do that. He prefers to make people and situations a little bit silly. He wants his adventures to be light hearted despite the terrible situations. Death, war, sickness, tyrants, slavery, all of those things are not just common in the world of One Piece, it's actually so prevalent that almost every nation is overflowing with it. Even in the East Blue, which is known as the weakest and most peaceful section of the entire planet, is riddled with problems. Luffy's home island is filled with the largest class divide conceivable. Zoro's past has shown how vulnerable people can be. Usopp's mother died of an illness. Sanji almost starved to death, and this is not even taking into account his further backstory. And Nami, by God, she probably had the worst life out of the entire crew other than Robin. At least the others had somewhat happy experiences throughout their lives. When Robin and Nami hit seven or eight years old, their lives went to hell with almost no good things happening ever again. Hmm. I wonder if Oda is saying something here. The main female characters get out of prepubescence and the whole world and everyone around them uses and abuses them. Hmm. I wonder if he noticed something and involved such a theme in the most delicate way possible to start a conversation without anyone arguing about it. Hmm. Really makes you think. I really want you to consider all of the backstories, all of the terrible things that happen all around this world until Luffy arrives. As soon as the protagonist rolls into town, things seem a little bit lighter, even if there is threat and danger ahead, even if there are forces of pure evil afoot. Even if things seem hopeless, Luffy will be there to smile, be goofy, and make things better. It happens over and over again. The Straw Hats arrive, they fix all the problems on a fundamental level that sometimes even the citizens don't even recognize it, and then they party, and they leave to continue the process all over again. Even with how silly the designs and people are, the world of One Piece is rather horrific. The ocean is even more dangerous than in the real world. There are a class of people who could do anything to anyone without facing any negative consequences to themselves. The world police force is corrupt on a fundamental level. Sickness is killing countless people. Criminals get away with so many things. 
Children suffer because of the terrible decisions of adults. God, can you imagine living in such a world? I can't. Oh, hold up a minute. This sounds familiar. Wait a minute! Yes, Oda points a condemning finger at real-world issues all the time. He has the saddest backstories that you have ever seen. He dives deep into a sense of hopelessness. Despite this, however, you don't dwell on it because the Straw Hats are there to be silly and make you laugh. Even as people bleed and break bones, you don't feel the complete weight of the pain. Things will be fine. You know the main characters will be fine. No one's going to die, mostly. There's going to be a party at the end and everything will work out for the best. That's why Oda wants there to be comedy all the time. Think about how bummed out you would be if there wasn't any humor around every corner making this seem like a silly cartoon. Almost everything that happens in One Piece revolves around real world problems that happen all around our actual planet. Think about how sad it would make you to think about this happening in real life. Even something like Berserk has the wall of demons and monsters traveling around to make the world worse. Magic made up countries, ninjas, spirits, and superpowered masterminds separate us from those problems and other forms of fiction. The only thing separating us from One Piece sadness sometimes is the comedy getting thrown at us. Otherwise, we'll start feeling real really bummed out that such real things are happening to characters that we care about. This is a really tough line to walk. How many writers out there can make entire arcs so sad and depressing where you come out of it happy, where you feel hopeful, where you feel like these real world problems are actually going to get fixed at some point? Luffy's here to make you laugh the pain away. That's what Oda's trying to do. He's writing a compelling story about terrible real world issues where we're not actually sad at the end because while I love sad things, even I need a break after a while. I've been reading a lot of Joe Abercrombie this year, but I needed a break after a while just because of how serious, heavy, and sad everything is. And I can't handle something like BoJack Horseman either. That is a show that's actually pretty close to One Piece and trying to use goofy comedy to help you through such heavy situations. But I cannot at any point watch a bunch of BoJack Horseman episodes without feeling way sadder than when I started. Now, this is a criticism of the series, already went through a lot of discussions with people over this one. If you can handle it, that's amazing. The writing and characters are amazing, but something about it makes me feel nihilistic afterwards. There's no getting around it for me. Whoa, this is heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? But Oda's work doesn't leave me feeling that way. It's a weird comparison, but I feel like the silliness and seriousness of these worlds are rather similar. But one leaves me depressed, while the other leaves me happy. I think that has a lot to do with the protagonist. Bojack Horseman, the character, is depressingly realistic. He's a man who will always travel down the wrong path. He is a great character study. He's a great character overall, but boy, is it so heavy and depressing. I can't handle it sometimes. Luffy's not heavy. He's fun. He's stupid. He takes life seriously by enjoying it, and he cares about other people to the point that he always makes things better. I feel like it even things out more. It makes One Piece an easier watch, where you don't have to prep yourself for the raw sadness that you're about to experience, even if you're about to watch the backstory section of an arc. Even as you see children go through the worst experiences imaginable. During the final fights with the big bads of the arc, Luffy always does something goofy. His fighting style is comical to begin with, making nets with his fingers or stretching his mouth so that he can put Arlong's teeth in it, or drinking water until it's overflowing, or swinging a giant golden ball around. Even most of his gears are funny, with the only exception being really gear second. I mean, come on, gear third, fourth, and fifth do kind of look ridiculous. And that's not mentioning the other mocking transformations that Luffy goes through for a short period of time through the various arcs. Are you serious? 
Now you could argue that this makes One Piece a little too childish for your taste, but this is without question Oda's vision. He has pulled it off for almost 30 years. No one else could even come close to this style of writing. Just look at the manga with the biggest inspiration from One Piece. Fairy Tale wears One Piece on its sleeve, in a good way, but there are many times where the humor and fan service gets in the way of the serious moments. It's something that only Oda has found a way to strike a proper balance with. Imagine if other people tried this. Imagine if every manga attempted this style, like all comic book movies now try to be Josh Whedon. Even if it's done well, it's still a watered down version of what makes the original special. No one can write like Oda. No one else can make one piece other than Oda, and I think we should appreciate what this man has managed to do and what he has accomplished in 30 years. You're welcome to disagree with me. That's fine. After all, everyone is entitled to their objectively wrong opinion. I can't seem to get happy. Maybe this will help. Please consider giving me a like and subscribing, it would really help me out. And hey, do you like stories about an interconnected world? Then consider giving my LP Shield books a try. They are all connected in some way, but you can jump in at any point, unless it's a series. Then you have to start at the beginning. But I got three books out right now, and three coming next year. You will not have to wait long for content. Either way, thank you. I appreciate you. Do not despair.